Hello. In this video, I am going to show you how you can set up the so called line scan function. The line scan function is also known as the line camera function. PixConnect has such a line camera function, which is mainly used for continuous processes where the measurement objects are moving. For example, this could be a thermoforming process, or a float glass process, or also a sheet glass application. To better explain the setup of the line scan function to you, let's look at the following small model. On this model, we transport a glass sheet from a heating zone through a duct into a cooling zone. To allow the line scan function to be set up, the full width of the measurement object needs to be within the field of view of the camera under the gap. For this, the glass sheet is stopped directly under the gap. Now let's look at how we set up the line scan function in the PixConnect software step by step. To activate the line scan function in the Tools menu, go to the menu item Line Scanner Mode. Enable Line Scanner. You are now in the alignment view. You can apply all the adjustments in this view. To do so, go to the menu item Line Scanner Mode, Line Scanner Settings. In the Line Scan Configuration menu, then select the General tab. Because in our example, we want to use a self triggered line scan, activate the point Self Triggered. Next, a temperature threshold value needs to be set, which triggers the line scan process. In our case, the line scan is to be triggered when a temperature of 50 degrees Celsius is reached. Click on Apply to save the settings. Now select the Source tab. For our line scan, we will use a self-defined line. To do so, activate the point Scan on User Defined Line. Click on Apply and OK. In the alignment view, you now see the trigger area and the scan line in the top left. Now you have the possibility to position the trigger area within the image as required. The trigger area must always be located before the scan line in the direction of movement of the object. It should be sufficiently large to detect the moving object. Next, we position the scan line below the trigger area. When doing so, the scan line must cover at least the full length of the object. The object is later scanned line by line at this position and compiled into an image. Next, we now open the line scan configuration menu again. Now select the tab Presentation. The presentation of the resulting line scan is from top to bottom. Next, decide how many lines are to be scanned in which time. The resulting line rate here should correspond to the maximum image frequency of the camera. In our case, the glass sheet takes 10 seconds to pass across the gap. Therefore, 320 lines must be set here. Now select the tab Auto Snapshots. Now activate the first point here and decide after how many scanning runs a snapshot should be taken in each case. Click on Apply and OK. To start the line scanner process, go to the menu item Tools, Line Scanner Mode, Line Scanner Sighting View. Now when transported on the conveyor belt, the glass sheet is scanned under the gap line by line and output as a composite image. To have all snapshots of the individual line scan processes displayed, go to the menu item View, Windows, Snapshot History. Now you will see all the recorded snapshots in an additional window. You can move the window wherever you like on the screen. To then set up a measuring area on the object, go to Menu Item Tools, Configuration, and select the tab Measure Areas. 
by clicking on the Add button, add a new measuring area. Enter a name for the measurement area and select the relevant shape. In our example, we will select a polygon. This polygon has four coordinates, four corners. Click on Apply and OK. Now you can move the polygon by keeping the control button on your keyboard and dragging the polygon to the correct location using the mouse. Drag a corner to change the shape of the polygon. Now you are measuring the temperature across the complete surface of the glass.